And I actually think that if you want to excel in any area of your life, there's going to be an imbalance. I actually think that balance doesn't exist. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Conquer Online podcast. Chris and I are live from the French Alps. If you are watching this, you can see our stunning view. Unfortunately, Eric isn't here with us today as he is in Australia. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little bit it's a little bit chilly out here today. So we're going to get it done with it. We came out here for the early morning. We thought we'd get here, get some nice sunlight. But let's get into it. So what are we talking about again today? So today we are talking about, well, Chris and I want to talk about balance and work-life balance. What is it? Does it actually even exist? And I guess sharing a little bit how we have gone about balance, um, working in a business, especially being a couple and, you know, living together, working together, snowboarding together, you know, we're 24-7. So, you know. And we think, we think it's quite relevant for Amazon business. Like when we both started our Amazon journey, we were still working our normal job, our nine to five job. So we had to fit in Amazon around that as well as all the activities that we loved and enjoyed. So it's something that I know in the past I haven't been so good at and something that I've improved at as the years have gone on. And we think it's very important for anyone starting the Amazon journey or anyone who's in the Amazon journey right now. It's not even Amazon journey, just business in general, life in general, relationships in general, whether it's a romantic relationship with your family, with your friends, uh, everything. So I guess to start it off, I like to ask the question of, I think everyone's definition of what balance is, is different. So what is your definition of balance? So, so for me, my definition is that you are accomplishing all your, your goals, you're achieving your goals, but you're doing them in a healthy way, that you're actually like... You're still enjoying him. You're enjoying your life. You're enjoying your activities. You're enjoying your time with your family. You're not giving up everything and sacrificing everything. You have to make some sacrifices, but you're not sacrificing everything so that you're driving yourself and burning yourself into the ground. I think that's the proper balance when you're still being productive, you're still getting your work done, but you're still enjoying your life every day. Mm. What do you yeah. think? What's your what's your opinion? What's I, your definition of it? I think my, my definition or what I thought... You know, because I think maybe a question we should actually ask is like, why do people talk about balance? Like, why is balance important? And f like thinking about, you know, why balance is important, people say, because obviously when something is out of balance, it's meaning that you're prioritizing, you're focusing on one thing more than um, something else. And I actually think that if you want to excel in any area of your life, there's going to be an imbalance. I actually think that balance doesn't exist in terms of that nothing is going to be, you know, if you've got the four main areas of your life, let's call it, you know, business, health, uh, family, and then we can do social, friends, or your own ha hobbies. I do not believe that for it, for there to be balance or for there to be a healthy balance, that it's all 25% each. Mm -hmm. I think that when you have a goal, so if I um, think about previously in my years, fitness, fitness is my number one priority always. Always, if you don't have health, you don't have anything. But previously, I've had my goals of I want to be fitter, I want to be leaner, I want to be all of those things. So I did spend a lot of time at the gym. So it, was, it wasn't that I was out of balance, but that was my priority. Whereas right now, health is always my number one priority, but I don't have those really um those those goals that i want to uh, achieve immediately i am healthy i am fit i can maintain at a base level it doesn't take me any more energy or or um you know commitment for me like i must do this that's who i am i'm a fit and healthy person and i've got those habits that kind of take me there my goals right now are very business orientated so the amount of time that i spent on my business outweighs the time i spent at the gym or outweighs the amount of time i spent you know, um, but socializing. You're not giving those things up. So, like, one thing to like touch on is that you're not actually sacrificing them to get. Like, if you want to go for a run tomorrow, you'll go for a run. If you feel like going to the gym, you'll go to the gym. Yeah. But you're still doing your business as a more of a priority. However, you're not like just giving everything up and being like, oh, I haven't got time for this. You still have the balance to go do it if you yeah. want it. So that's something definitely to touch on. Yeah. So I, so I guess the answer is like, I don't believe there is balance. I think there's no such thing in balance. And I actually think if you're completely balanced in all areas of your life, you're not excelling in anything. I think yeah. that that that's it sounds pretty harsh, but that's that's what I think it is. If you want to excel in some area of your life, whether it's fitness or health or family, whatever it may be, you're concentrating. That's your concentrating on that. That's your priority. That's where you're um, putting all your efforts. Now, focus is very important. That's definitely mm -hmm. that's a whole other video altogether. Focus. Mm -hmm. We could talk about it for hours. But I think um, one thing that I've noticed recently, and I know that you've probably noticed it in me, is that that happiness like in what, where you are and what you're doing makes a huge shift in the productivity you're doing. And I think that has something massively to do with balance. So 
in the past where I've been working myself into the ground, we always hear about this. You've got to grind. You've got to grind. You've got to work it out. You've got, mm. to, do, you've got to do 20 hours a day. You've got to can't sleep. It's not, it's not true. And, I'm, and I may have had that mentality where I was like, I was a workhorse. All I wanted to do was just work, 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 work. But I was sacrificing the things I loved. And I actually think that starts to show in your work. If you're, if you're not happy where you are and if you're just constantly tired and all you're thinking about is going to work and working and working, oh, I've got to get this done. I've got to get this done to get ahead. You will slowly start to see this on the productivity that you're putting out to begin with, you'll start being less productive. Your work will start getting a bit sloppier and, mm. you, and you'll start like resenting the work you're doing. And if you right, start yeah. resenting the work because you're not enjoying the rest of your life because you haven't got that right balance, everything's going to start going heel, downhill yep. and you're going to start to burn out. And burnout is a, is a big thing in business. And especially if people who are doing Amazon or online business or are starting their journey, they're trying to juggle a tough, couple of different careers and a family life. Maybe you're still playing sport as well. There's a lot of things you've got to juggle, but yep. just don't, don't burn out. Don't go too hard. You need to find that balance. And I think happiness, doing the things you love is a huge point that I've noticed in my like recent year or so that I think I've started to get it right that has made me enjoy my life a lot more and enjoy my work a lot more. Yeah. Yeah, I completely agree with that. If we're, you know, if you if you are happy and you are still, you know, you need to look after your soul as well. And even if like, when I say balance, I, will, I want to be clear, we're not talking about like 50-50. That's not, not balance. But in terms of if your priority is work, so let's say that 75% of your time is going to work, you still got this other percent of time that you can still do the fun stuff. So what we've, uh, the, I guess the reason why we're having this conversation now is that we've realized that when we were on the Gold Coast, we loved our lifestyle there. It was a beautiful place to uh, to live and, you know, the weather and everything. But we were always working and you start getting resentful. Um, you you know, your relationship suffers as well because we were more so talking to each other like co-workers rather than, you know, you know, we're getting engaged, we are engaged, we're getting <laughs> married, we're best friends, but it was more like a, a, a co-work environment. So we started, you know, bickering a little bit more and things like that. And what we have realized is being here in France, you know, the reason that we're here in France is because we want to snowboard every day. There's no other reason why we're here but to snowboard. We've obviously got friends here from doing previous seasons. So it's a, a social aspect for us as well. But what we've realized is that we've spent more time maybe socializing, maybe having a few drinks, having fun in the last four weeks being in France than we probably had in the last three years. Obviously COVID and everything happened um, in Queensland. But what we've realized is that our output can output in work has been has been has been better our creativity is better I'm more motivated to, to do work I'm more excited to do work because I'm like you know yesterday we had a I had a great day you know did the work in the morning we had we went snowboarding we went out for lunch and it was just like that was a definition of balance that I did all the things that I wanted to do in terms of productivity but the things that you know warm the soul as well and you know and for our relationship as well and I, I think like maybe like a tip to, to, to go off this is, is one thing that I've learned is that you have to start picking times like you have to pick times that work for you um, we could I could tell you right now that I work really well in the mornings I know Eric's not here right now he works really well in the evenings you're a bit of more of a morning person as well but not super early I'm a super early person now we might be speaking to you about that. That might not work for you. You've got to find the right time that works for you. You've got to find the right hours. You might have a family. You might be busy during those hours. Like I said earlier, I used to work before I went to work because I was tired in the afternoon. I didn't want to do as much work. I was tired. I wanted to relax. I wanted to chill out. So I used to get up a bit earlier and do that work, extra work, the hour or so before I went to do my plumbing job. And that's what worked for me. So you need to find what works for you. And then in also finding what works for you, you need to like... Pick that time and if you're in a relationship or you're in your family, you need to then work that out with, with your family so it works for them as well. So you, you can then have no distractions because distractions is a huge problem I find with getting work-life balance. If you're not fully focused on what you're doing at that time and you have maybe little kids or you have the TV on the background or you have your wife or your fiance coming and asking you questions, you need to speak about this and to get this organized so that you guys are both happy with your scenario and you can set that hour aside in a quiet place so you can really focus your time and get that really high quality productive work. Yeah. You agree on that? Yeah, definitely. And it's a it's all about that communication. So whether um you know you're 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 still in your nine to five or you have family obligations as well. It's making sure that, okay, when do when do you work the most efficiently? When can you be most productive? In our household it's called hour of power. So if we tell someone we're having an hour of power, that means you cannot speak to me i'm not available for anything you know phone goes away timer goes on and you're doing work and that's what 
works for us and we have all communicated um, that with each other when we lived with Eric in Queensland. We all knew if someone said hour of power, you do not disturb them for the one hour. Mm. That's a, that that's their time. So it's talking with your, you know, with your significant other, with your family, with your friends. And even with yourself, it's that discipline um, as well. If you're working, you know, nine to five, getting up an hour early isn't that big of a deal, especially if you think about what you're doing at the at the other end of the night. Are you, you know, in bed scrolling on TikTok at 9.30 or, or watching, you know, Netflix and things like that? So you need to um, prioritise of like, what's more important for you? Can I go to sleep a little bit earlier and sacrifice, you know, watching that season of, you know, House of Dragons or something or TikTok, go to sleep earlier so I can wake up an hour earlier, get this hour of power done so I feel good about, you know, working on my side business or or really anything, even if it's at the gym and then being able to go to your nine to five. So it's putting those bits into it so you are able to find that or really utilize all the all the hours in your day and then it also goes for like relationship and family so um for us because we do spend 24 7 together something that for me is really important that chris and i eat meal time together if we don't eat meal time together i get very upset that's what um you know fills my love bucket up that's what that's that's our um time where we are we are not co-workers we are not flatmates you know we are not business partners we are you know chris and veronica you know we are this is my fiance and that's where we have those conversations and um it, it it is difficult and sometimes like even talking about it it can seem like mundane of like oh what you need to put in time for your relationship 100 percent, 100 percent. this is a forever thing it needs to be worked on every single day but uh, that's communicating of what what we you know what's important in our relationship and what makes us uh you know tick and so we're both happy in terms of in our relationship in our work life but then personally as well because you know we are individuals as well we have our own hobbies and and things like that we need to make sure that everyone's getting enough me time as well and on, on me time and, and on TikTok and House of Dragons, we just touched on that. Um, I think one of the last points I wanted to bring up today was about uh, being able to say no and, and not mm-hmm, being mm-hmm. like, there's a big thing. People say it's selfish or, or feeling guilty for saying no to something. Like, um, it's okay to say no. If, if you don't have to go to every single event, you don't have to go to every single sports game. You don't, you don't have to watch every single episode. You can rewatch them. Like you can have a time out. If you need to get something done, it's okay to feel uh, a bit selfish about that and get it done for you because it's not selfish. Like, don't be guilty. Don't feel like you have to fulfill everyone else's needs. You have to fulfill your own needs first and then you'll be happier fulfilling them. And this is another thing that I've learned to like to get over. I was someone who wanted to always please people. I'd always say yes to parties. I'd always say yes to sports games. That I never want to miss out. Yeah, I had FOMO for everything. So I wouldn't actually get the, the quality of work done because I was too busy doing things for other people, too busy making other people happy. You have to be able to say no sometimes, and this is some, sometimes hard. It can be towards your family. Just be like, hey, no, I need this time right now for this next mm-hmm. hour. Can you please give this to me down? Once I finish that hour, I'll be completely yours. I'll be there. I'll be there full attention. So you've got yeah. to be able to say no, but then you've got to be able to make and go back and give full attention after. Yeah, that, Otherwise, and- that's another hard thing, which is I am trying to get through, and we've got this switching off is very hard, so you need to get that time right switch off after but if you get the no to begin with and you get allowed that time you're going to be more productive because you're like okay well now i've been given this time let's get it done and then i'll switch off so it's really i i feel like now if we're summarizing this is like there's no such thing as balance balance is that you know you need to make a list of things that are what 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 is a priority in your life and that just because something is a priority in your life right now doesn't mean that's the most important thing so for example priority right now is we're building our businesses however the most important thing in my life is first health and when i say health my own health because if i'm sick I'm no good to myself or to anyone else. And then second um, is family. So in terms of those are the my two most important things in life. However, my priority right now is business. So there is a difference between importance and priority. And when you, are, especially when you, uh, maybe when you, if, uh, if you're watching this and you're working on a business and you're significant, other isn't or there's family and things they need to be on the same page so it's having those um, conversations but I feel like I've gone on a tangent kind of forgot the point that I was trying to make that that balance is all about yeah prioritizing and then having a plan basically Mm. and communicating with those those people around you and then sticking to that plan if you say that you're going to do something you do it and then you dedicate full attention we have that conversation all the time full attention no phones no this or i check an email or something like that it's just like okay i finished this now i've promised this time for you and, and then and to finish up i think it is it's really like it is up to you it comes down to you at the end of the day how you work how your body works how you feel about it if you love if you have a job and you love what you're doing every day 
then you're going to be pretty happy and your balance is going to be like, okay, well, I like working. Yeah. But if you're, if they're happy doing that and it's not affecting anyone else, go for it. Go enjoy it. But if you're not doing that and you're just you're grinding away and you're not enjoying it, maybe try living a little bit more and seeing what happens. You might, you might see a change. So I think it comes down it's, to the individual and that's one of the biggest points. Because it's all about, it's also all about like the energy, the frequency that you're, that the frequency that you're functioning at. And you know, we're all about the law of attraction is like the frequency that you're going to attract to you as well. So if you feel like your frequency is lower, you feel bogged down, you need to spice things up. You know, variety is a spice of life and you know, I'm not saying go go partying and do this and this, but I do think that you need to live a little. You need to, you know, let your soul express itself as well, and that will turn around and be very impactful in a positive way in your work life as well. Mm. Well, I reckon that's it for today's podcast. Thanks for joining us, guys. Mm-hmm. Stay tuned for the next one. Yeah. Hope you guys got some value out of this one. We're gonna have to see see you later from the French Alps. We'll be back in Australia soon. But for now, take it easy. Keep going with the journey. Keep cracking on. Yep. See you later, see you later guys. Bye. Bye.